Hello, welcome to our video. Today I'm very excited to show you this rugged Android smartphone. This smartphone is made by Rugex. Now, Rugex is a trusted UK brand in rugged phones and tablets. This is part of their Rhino range. It's called the Rhino 4. It has a 4 inch screen. It has a nice small form factor. It's fully unlocked, so it'll take any SIM. It's 4G enabled too. Now, as with all Rugex phones, it's uh, waterproof it's dust proof it's shock proof and it's obviously tough rugged and durable now first of all I would like you to show you the waterproof test now if you are going to do this make sure the ports at the top are closed and the back cover is firmly closed I can't stress that enough um, it's unnecessary to do this but I want to show you that it's fully waterproof as well so it's IP68 rated so it can be immersed underwater for up to 60 minutes and a meter deep it's fully waterproof so you can fully immerse it in water so there you go you can see I'm giving it a good old jiggle and um, if I take it out there you can see it works there's no damage to it now the screen may not be responsive until you give it a good wipe so make sure you dry it out give it a good wipe and the screen should be fine Now let me show you what it comes with. It comes with this fantastic Rugex flat micro USB cable. It's good for charging your phone and data transfer. Now because it's flat and wider, it is compatible with the Rugex rapid charge which charge your phone quicker. It comes with a standard charger as well. Now we're offering you this dual USB charger so you can actually charge two devices at the same time. It's a good quality UK charger and uh, because of that extendable leg it's uh, smaller too it comes with a pair of headphones you can take phone calls and listen to music on that and we are also including this little screwdriver so you can open the back and finally it comes with a quick start manual it's nothing special but it will get you started okay so let me show you how you put the sim cards in and battery so there's two screws on the back just need to unscrew them make sure you don't lose those screws take the back cover off take the battery out and there's your sim slots it takes two micro sim cards you don't have to use two but if you wanted to use two it's dual sim so why not um, you can use one sim and it will still work there's a memory card on the side there as well it takes up to 128 gigabytes and you put the sim cards in that way with the pins facing down put the battery back on line up the cover and put the screws on nice and firmly okay let's have a look on the outside so first of all we've got this lovely four inch screen and as with all rhino phones it's got the metal plate on the front on this model normally on the they're on the side but it's got it on the front it gives it more strength and structure and moves the glass away from the front as well and it also looks very nice so on the bottom we've got our touch buttons we've got a front facing camera on the side we've got a little lanyard port and on this side we've got the volume up and down rocker and we've got our power button there on the top we've got two rubber waterproof ports one for the headphone and the other one is the USB for charging and data transfer now make sure you have them closed at all times to prevent water going in and on the back we've got a back camera and a flat of course we've got a speaker on the bottom there as well now the back of this phone has got a textured feeling to it and it, it gives it more grip so it's not going to fall out of your hand it's uh, much more grippier to hold right so let's have a play with this phone so we unlock it just swipe to unlock there at the top we've got our quick settings and the quick settings we can turn off Bluetooth turn on GPS things like that and there's a little torch shortcut there as well very handy so you can turn the torch on and off 
from the top torch is really handy to have on these kind of phones now on the bottom we've got uh, buttons here and we've got the app tray so this is where all our apps live okay let me show you how you make out a call so go to the dialer dial out your number press the call and you'll be faced an option to call out from SIM 1 or SIM 2 if you've got two SIMs in. So that's how you would manage your SIMs. You can have a default, so if you had a default SIM that you call out from, you can change that in settings and it will only, or only call out from that number. Now, text messaging is pretty much the same, so do your text message and send that text message and you'll be, again, faced with the option of sending out from SIM 1 or SIM 2. That's, of course, if you've got two SIMs in. Now, again, you can set a default SIM for your text messages. So you can do that by going into Settings, SIM Cards, and you can manage that there. So let me show you. We go to Settings, SIM Card, and you can choose your default calling out SIM and your default text message SIM there. You can also turn on and off each sim there so if you've got two sims in you only use one that's fine you can turn one off now internet works really nicely as well so I've got the browser here I'm going to BBC News and you can see it loads quickly and it's really sharp and bright and easily readable you can of course zoom in this phone also comes with a Play Store built in now the Play Store is a great portal for you to install new games new apps books, movies, music and uh, even newspapers so it's really useful to have that on here so you can do everything directly from the phone so it's as easy as finding what you need and pressing install and it's simple as that. Okay let me show you this fantastic screen this uh, is a four inch IPS screen it's a uh, very nice quality it's got good colors good contrast and it's got a good pixel de density so if I zoom in to this lovely Fox here you can see how nice and detailed that is you've got the colors popping it's nice and bright it's vibrant and uh, there is a lot of detail on that screen so really nice screen to consume your content on Now, because it's a quality screen, you can see it from different angles. So if I move the phone around, you can still see the quality of the screen. You can still read what's on the screen. Now, this screen would also be fantastic for video viewing and movies, as shown here. Now on a rugged phone it's probably important to have a fairly loud speaker. The speaker on the on this phone is on the back and it's fairly loud as I'm going to demonstrate now. Okay, what about the camera? Now, as you would expect on a smartphone, it's got plenty of settings on there for the actual pictures and the camera as well. Now, the back camera is an 8 megapixel camera, which is a fairly good camera indeed. So, let's take a, a few pictures and have a look. So, let's take a picture of my little monkey figurine here. Now you can see I can zoom into the picture and it's got quite good quality actually. So if I zoom right in you'll be able to see it's captured all those minute details on the monkey figure. So it will take really nice pictures. Now also because this phone is waterproof you can take underwater videos providing of course you don't do it under one meter so you can see here this is taken with a different Ruggix phone but you can see you can do videos now finally what I would like to show you is the gaming 
ability of this phone. Now you may not be a gamer and that's absolutely fine but this is just to show you if you did want a game on this phone this phone is perfectly powerful enough to play most of the games out there. It's got a quad-core CPU and a dedicated graphics processing unit as well which enables it to play games like this. Really good high quality games. Okay, let's wrap this up. Now, this phone is made by Ruggix, which is a trusted UK brand in rugged phones and tablets. We've been dealing with them for a number of years, and we find their products to be fantastic with good quality and good support and excellent value for money. This is their Rhino 4, which is their latest 4G LTE enabled phone. It's dual SIM as well, so you can take dual SIMs if you need it to. Um, or you can just use it too. As it's a rugged, of course, it's waterproof, it's tough, it's rugged, it's durable. It uh, would make a great work phone if you needed one. Now, it's got Android 6 straight out the box, so it's got a good operating system. It's uh, easy to use. It's got the Play Store, so you can add new apps and games. And it's got a really decent camera. It's got a good body. It's got a good weight to it. It's got great battery life. The other thing I haven't really covered, but it really has got a good battery life compared to phones of this range. Now, if you need a tough, durable, rugged phone, the Ruggix Rhino 4 is a great phone to choose. I can't recommend this phone enough. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I hope you choose to buy this phone soon.